also a giant. <laughs>
cheap that is compared to uh, um, regular petroleum. Um, and, and kind of talking to that, that, that kind of is a, um, I guess, a, an obvious thing that can't be ignored moving forward that electricity itself is going to be a huge part of uh, our energy and kind of take over many of the other energy uh, components uh, into the future, kind of pushing out um, your petroleum and uh, moving forward. And so um, there's uh, two other kind of points here. Uh, I was asked earlier on, uh, when I first arrived, uh, something to talk about or something that's important to kind of consider. Um, and uh, the question was, does generation have to happen at site? Um, and there's a lot of regulatory barriers that we have to kind of overcome in uh, the Saskatchewan region. Um, and uh, there are ways to kind of come over these barriers and it, it has to do with a lot of refacing the regulatory framework. Um, and this is stuff that we shouldn't shy away from, and it is stuff that we should be engaging with our governing bodies to ask and uh, to create, to get the people who work within the regulatory framework to uh, start mapping it out in order to, to get there. And we shouldn't be shy to ask that stuff. Um, so, such as, does generation have to happen at site? Currently, yes, um, but it doesn't have to. Um, there can be other ways around that, such as virtual net metering, um, and yeah, it's important to, to engage with the governing bodies to, to kind of help lead this, lead this charge. Um, and we're talking about 100% renewable uh, by 2050. And it was kind of touched on by a few of these people. 2050, that is a long ways away. That is over three decades away. Um, we have proven technology today to get us there today. Um, this is not about inventing stuff. I'm sure some of the stuff isn't figured out yet, such as the regulatory framework to help us get there that needs to be written or put in place so we can participate in certain ways that we need to, whether it's a property owner or let's say the city of Regina running buildings that have a meter connection downtown but they don't have enough uh, roof space to have solar modules to power the building or to really cool it. Stuff, these are hurdles that are easily um, done, and it's, and it's not even rewriting or, or, or inventing new regulatory framework. You can look at other jurisdictions that already do it and implement it here. Um, and uh, uh, one of these paper napkin calculations, uh, trying to, I guess, be an engineer or something to do. But, um, I was just looking on my phone. Every, the, I think uh, it was nine, uh, it was under 100,000 single family dwellings in Regina alone. Um, so it's just homes, all sizes of homes. I, I don't know if single family dwellings include uh, apartments or condos. I don't know, that's whatever it is. Okay, so 100,000 single family dwellings in Regina alone. Let's say the average uh, solar installation, let's just say is $20,000 per average home. Um, so, for every single family dwelling to have about enough solar to completely power it, um, my paper napkin calculation, please double check me. And, and, uh, but that's, that's about uh, $2 billion. That's a lot of money. Um, Less than highway around the I street. guess that makes me think about right away coming from an outsider, working in the power industry, back to back within Saskatchewan and beginning to work here again. That's the same price that we of public money that was put towards the carbon capture facility here in Saskatchewan. And we really still come from the energy and not know. inventing also. something that isn't there or trying to create an industry that we can sell technology which is maybe this is a little bit too political right now, but uh, <laughs> good enough. But it drives me crazy to, to see that. And that's public money they spent. Um, and maybe there are some other numbers of economics that I don't see long term of pulling out the lignite out of the ground or, and, and being able to, we don't even push it to other jurisdictions in the world because uh, it is lignite and it's not a matter of like, the right kind of coal to be used in, in other situations. But to have enough money 
uh, to put towards projects like that where we could potentially outfit every single family dwelling in all of Regina with enough solar to power from now until basically forever. Well, not forever, but more than, more than till well past 2050. Um, and not every roof is perfect for solar, I understand that. But, yeah, I don't know, just putting it out there. Think about it. <laughs>